today we're taking a closer look at the Metro Arms American Classic II. The American Classic II represents an upgraded version of the classic 1911 government design. Made in the Philippines, the American Classic II is a very well-made handgun. It's a full-size 1911 with a standard 5-inch barrel. But there are some additions to this 1911 that you don't normally see on a stock government model. It features a full beaver tail grip safety, combat hammer, skeletonized trigger with over-travel adjustment, three-dock Novak-style combat sights, extended magazine release, extended slide release, and an extended thumb safety. All higher-end 1911 upgrades. The feed ramp came already nicely polished, and the trigger is as slick and smooth as one that's been through a trigger job. Attention to details like this make the American Classic II's price even more attractive. These pistols have a nicely blued finish instead of the parkerized finish you see on many 1911s these days. And most importantly, the fit and overall finish of these guns are exceptional for any 1911 in the five to six hundred dollar price range. The slide and frame are constructed of forged steel, not cast steel like some other import 1911s. Most of your higher end 1911s utilize forged steel construction instead of incorporating any cast steel parts. Usually what's impacted most by this is the price tag. Surprisingly, Metro Arms has managed to keep the price down a little bit for this type of quality construction. The fit on this pistol is just as good as some of the more higher priced 1911s I've owned over the years. Unlike some import 1911s, the American Classic II is mil spec. That means you can utilize any aftermarket 1911 parts designed for the government mil spec pistols without worrying if they'll fit properly. The accuracy of this 1911 is also noteworthy. At 25 yards, toppling steel targets pose no problem. The sights came out of the box dead on. The dependability characteristics of this 1911 have so far been great. It's never failed to feed, fire, or eject a round. As long as good quality magazines and ammo are used, I don't foresee any future issues. Some 1911s suffer from what you'd call a suck period during break-in usually lasting for about the first 100 to 300 rounds. The American Classic II didn't seem to suffer this affliction at all. That's actually noteworthy. I suppose my only real gripe is the fact that it came with only one eight round magazine. It's not that I don't have a fair number of 1911 magazines already, but shipping a new firearm with a single magazine well, that just happens to be one of the fastest ways a gun manufacturer can give me a case of the red ass. That aside, I'm very pleased with the American Classic II. It's factory packed with custom features, and frankly, it's a lot of gun for the money. The pistol is accurate enough for target work and dependable enough for home or self-defense use. For what you get, the American Classic II doesn't disappoint. Apparently, there's enough people who don't believe the Model 1911 is ready for a tombstone just yet. Sales of 1911 pistols, if anything, were on the rise. The demand seems to be increasing in spite of it not being polymer. Strange indeed. <laughs>